about the time when the Ola, Uber and share a cab did not exist. This is also about the time when the metro and the tube were not even a part of our fairy tale. This is about the time when for our transport we took the humble BEST bus in Mumbai or the Mumbai local train because this is also about the time when we didn't have so much money as to spend for a Kalipili taxi every day for our travel. And this is about the time when I was 15 and I decided I will be an actor. <laughs> so I was working in plays. Now when you're doing a play, you have many rehearsals to attend months on end. I don't know how many of you are familiar with Mumbai, but I used to live in a place called Sion, which is centrally located in Mumbai. And the rehearsals would happen 15 kilometers away, one way, in the western suburbs, Juhu. Now I had to travel every day for my rehearsals. So the easiest way of transport was um, the bus. A bus that would take me directly from Sion. And it was a direct bus that went right outside my rehearsal venue. You can't get better than that. This was bus number 255. Okay, the only hitch with this bus was the frequency was very bad. It was one bus every one hour. So you missed one and you've had it. Now, I'm waiting for this bus. And after about 30, 35 minutes or so, I see a 255 approaching the bus stop. While I see it, a whole lot of others see it. And suddenly, what was a disciplined queue breaks into a chaos. Everybody's trying to come forward because they all have to get into this bus right now. Now, as the bus is approaching the stop, the conductor inside the bus sees, my God, there are a whole lot of people trying to get into my bus. No way. So he goes, tang, 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 and the bus goes off without stopping. This used to happen often. You're angry, you're frustrated, even more so because now you have to wait another hour to get the next one, the direct one. You can't do a thing, so you wait. Now, exactly at the appointed hour, the next bus comes. Thankfully, this one stops. But everybody's in a mad rush, so there's a lot of push, pull, tug, everything. And I froze because I didn't think I could get inside the bus. I couldn't handle this, I was scared. So I stopped. I missed this bus. I have no choice, I have to wait for the third one and I'm getting very late. By the time the third bus came, I had very well devised in my head how I'm going to enter this one. And I managed to enter the third bus. I have a wonderful journey, I reach my rehearsals, but a good two and a half hours late. <laughs> Happens. Next day, it's back to the same thing. I'm at the same bus stop waiting for the 255. But as I'm waiting for the 255, I see another bus that says, Bandra. Fine, get it. At least I'll go four kilometers ahead into my journey. But the problem is, you have to change a bus. That's not very convenient. But you've got to do what you've got to do. So I get off at Bandra. I wait there for the next bus. I see another bus that says Santa Cruz. That's another five to six kilometers ahead into the journey. Fine, I get into the Santa Cruz bus. Now in Santa Cruz, I get very lucky because every other bus from there goes to Juhu. So I very quickly get a bus. I reach my rehearsals. And that day, after changing so many buses, I reach my rehearsals absolutely on time. That is exactly what my career has been. I waited some. I waited. And then I was so determined to succeed that I decided I will take the first bus that comes my way, that takes me forward into my journey towards my destination. So what if it is only one single stop at a time? I started with stage, I did films, I moved to television, I sang, I cut three albums as a singer, I danced my heart out on a reality show, I emceed, I did it all to showcase my talent, to stay visible, to earn while I learned something new. At times I did it all to survive in these waters and then I began to thrive in it. You know, lucky are those people who, get, who have this one talent, okay? They can do this one thing, they work towards that one thing and then they are super successful in that thing, brilliant. 
but there is a whole lot of people like me who maybe can do five things that we know of and who maybe can do three other things that we do not know we can do but others can see in us. Spoil for choice, not really. Now I was hosting this uh, countdown show on television, I did that too. And because I'm a Punjabi and we break into a song and dance about everything, I was singing on this so uh, show and I had nothing to lose. Now, <laughs> the next thing I know, I get this call from a music company saying, we want you to cut an album. I said, no. This is not in my scheme of things. I had not planned for this. I am a trained actor, I am a trained classical dancer, but singing, I have done nothing towards it. I can't just wake up one morning and say, hey, I want to be a singer. No. But a few months later, another music company approached me and said, we want you to sing. And then I said, hey, stop. Is there something that I can do which I do not know of, but others can see that I can? So maybe I should not say no. Okay, let's count our blessings first. Now, what can I do? I have a good voice. Tick. I understand music. Surtal ki samaj hai. Tick. Now, what is it that I cannot do? Here, I do not know. I do not have the skill. I am not trained. I do not have the experience. Fine. We will learn. But easier said than done, because now you have to go back to school, become a student, you're going to try something new, so you're a newcomer again in a new territory. That's scary. But like my father always said to me, for all that you know, and for all that you do not know, a hundred rehearsals is the key. Those days, luckily, I was working with the thespian, Mr. Dilip Kumar, and I was very worried about my singing. And he looked at me and he said, Koi nahi, koshish karo, koshish se bahut kuch hasil ho jata hai. To koshish humne ki. I came up with my first album, Hulle Hulare. It worked. Then I got the opportunity to do the second one, Mukhra Piya ka. That worked. Then the third one came. That worked for someone who had never even dreamt of this. That's when I realized that maybe talent is an overrated term. What actually works is application. Like this golfer had once said, the harder I practice, the luckier I get. Somewhere along the course of my career, I also realized that we are our own biggest detractors. We are so concerned about what other people think of us, what opinion they have of us. Do they think I'm successful? So it all becomes about commercial success and stardom, we start measuring our success by other people's yardsticks. I have to tell you about this. This really happened to me. I'm not making this up. Now, very beginning of my career. Now, I had, I told this person who mattered that, you know, I did a Marathi film and I got the state award for the best actress. He says, yeah, but that's regional cinema. I said, Achha. Hey, I got the national award for Sham Benegal's film. Yeah, but that's art house cinema. I said, I'm working with Bertolucci in the Hollywood film. They said, yeah, that's Hollywood. Let's talk of Bollywood. <laughs> so for a whole lot of them, if you're not the next Sri Devi, you haven't arrived. But the problem is, when you start believing in the same, then you can't even begin. In life, you just have to go with the flow. You can't expect miracles because nothing comes out of a hat. There is a miracle. The miracle is life itself. The miracle is, or are the opportunities that life presents to you. The miracle is 
the fact that you have your eyes and ears open to spot and recognize the opportunity when it comes to you and the opportunity is in that challenge. So you've got to accept all challenges. You can't be scared. The first time when I said no to singing, it was my own fear of failing. I was so scared. I'm going to fail in this. I've got so much at stake. I can't be doing this. I knew I was no Lata Mangeshkar. Of course, you can't be the next Lata Mangeshkar. It's not possible. But in trying to be nothing but the best, you do not take that small flight that you are meant to take. I have to create my own little story. I have to have my own little existence. And I'm so glad I did what I did because today it's been 25 years and um, I'm still around and working. I have grown and today I can proudly say that I'm an actor who has some body of work in all these mediums. You know, nobody can guarantee you whether you're going to see the highs of success. No one can do that. But one thing is certain, that you work and your life will be a happy one. You just have to know your strengths, be honest to your work and just work. Doesn't matter big, small, this, that. I'll just conclude this by a few things that I stand by in life. When I was a teenager, I was a part of this play uh, called Shatranj Ke Mohare, written by the famous Marathi writer P. L. Deshpande. There was a beautiful line in it. Said, Jis sur ko nibha nahi sakte, usme kabhi nahi gana chahiye, varna sari zindagi besuri ho jayegi. I have something to add to that. Lekin agar sur sahi lag jaye, to uski sadhana bhi kabhi nahi chhodni chahiye, zindagi usi se nikhregi. And it has been 25 years and I still try not to miss the first bus that comes my way that takes me on an exciting journey ahead. <laughs>